Hello folks, it's old Hunter here. I wrote a book not too long ago, a little short story, called Lost in the Amazon. And I've been reading a chapter every week and putting it on here for people to enjoy. I really enjoyed writing it. Hope everybody's read it so far as enjoyed reading it. All right, I'll give you a little preview of what already happened. Tom, that's the name of the character, he got in a plane wreck and crash landed on the Amazon River. The pilot got killed. And he was probably 200 miles from civil, the only civilization he knew of on that river right there. It was pretty deserted, uh, destitute in there. So anyway, he takes off going and going and going. He walked down the edge of the Amazon. He come to another river that dumped into it. He had to try to find a place to cross it. But... He wasn't about to get in it because he'd done seeing all the snakes and crocodiles and he'd catch a piranha and eating them. So he wasn't about to try to swim it. He's trying to find some other way to get across. And that's our chapter four is it. And I'm fixing to get on chapter five. I call this chapter, I found a home. The natives stood, the natives stood looking at me. I was the first white man their eyes had ever seen. Tom very slowly walked towards them. They watched me with nervous eyes. The man in the front with feathers on his, in his hair and tied to his upper arms made me think he was their chief. The only thing I could think of was to point to my mouth and rub my stomach. His mouth broke into a big grin. He motioned for me to follow him. Went to the village and went to the largest hut, which I knew had to be his, him being the chief. He said something to, to a very short woman. We sat looking at each other. I saw this race of people was very short. They had red hair and dark green eyes. In a short while, four women came inside bearing all kinds of food. It watched me as I ate. All of them had smiles on their faces. I ate all I could and wanted to say thanks, patting my hands together, I bowed my head. This act seemed to please them very much. The chief pointed to furs on the floor, then at me. I noticed my head. I nodded my head and smiled. Him and I had fun trying to communicate half the night. He had four wives and nine children. They all looked alike, red hair and dark green eyes. One of his children, a young girl with a fantastic body, her young breast stuck straight out. I guess her age is about 16 years old. The chief's mate slept with him and the children on the other side. I slept in the middle. When daylight broke, the chief mate brought food to him and me. I had to go to the bathroom real bad. I signed the chief what I had to do. He stepped outside to get someone to show me where to go. Kind of hard today. A little wind blowing hard to get your papers turned. I was pleased it was his daughter. I saw last night. We walked to the edge of a sinkhole, and there was a two-inch tree trunk sunk in the ground. I watched the beautiful girl showed me what to do. She broke into a big smile when I dropped my pants to do my job. She got me some fern to clean myself with. As we walked back to the compound, she took my hand. She kept looking me in my eyes. On the way back to the village, she touched herself and said, Nada. We had a midday meal of fruit, Nada sat next to me while we ate. I saw the whole village. Was watching us and smiling. The supper that night was monkey, fish, and a large bird. It looked like a turkey. The men were served by their mates, and the men ate first. Nada had served me and they watched to see how I needed anything, anything else. When the meal was over, a big fire was built and the chief brought Nada to me. Putting her hand in mine, he tied our wrists together. We were taken to a small hut on the edge of the village. The old tribe was there grinning. Nada moved the door covering and went in. With our hands tied together, the next morning food was brought to us. We ate and I tried to go out her door. Nada shocked me, stopped me. The 
and shook her head no. Believe me, I was in no hurry to leave, not. It was all woman, all four foot ten of her. After seven nights of pure bliss, that morning food was not brought to us. We went outside to greet the whole village. The chief cut the leather bond, and our hands were free. The custom was if you could be tied together for seven nights, you were compatible. I learned it was I learned a language in about eight months. I was thinking about New York all the time. That evening, I told the chief I wanted to go home. He said I could go anytime I wanted to, but I always had a home there. I asked if Nona could go with me, and he said no, she would not fit in my world. I got my bow and, and survival kit and machete. At daybreak the next morning, I walked into the I walked into the Amazon jungle. Now I had tears running down her face, and I walked. Away, so did I. That was the short, saddest time I've ever had since my little girl had been killed. Okay, folks, that's chapter five. I'll read another chapter probably tomorrow, chapter six. So I'll talk to y'all later.